Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Seattle Pilots and the Chicago White Sox at Comiskey Park. On the mound for the Pilots today is Dave Boswell, whose record is 5-6 with a 3.78 ERA. And pitching for the White Sox is Fred Klages, whose record is 7-14 with a 5.01 ERA. Yeah, I don't know what it is about the White Sox. Uh, they are a team that, for some reason, gives us a lot of issues. Um, I pulled uh, Earlier today, I pulled up the head-to-head -to -head to, just to take a look and see what our record is against the White Sox, and we're 8-8. Eight and eight. You know, we're right there with them, but this is a team we should be clobbering, and uh, somehow they continue to get over on us. Uh, today's matchup is going to be interesting because if you saw the title card there, you would know that Fred Klages, who's starting today, has lost 13 consecutive decisions. Not you know, There's no, no decisions in there. or It's all, all losses for his last 13 starts with a plus 5 ERA. So, um, you know, I, I tend to feel like we are doomed to lose today's game. Uh, and that's ridiculous. We should win this game going away, but uh, we'll find out here uh, momentarily. So uh, as a reminder, at the end of the month, we do have the trade deadline, uh, essentially a week away, it looks like. Uh, I will try to trade uh, Gene Brabender. I did a pre preliminary look yesterday, um, and there was a one-for-one -one deal that wasn't very enticing. So I didn't bother going for it. But I, what I'm hoping is that Brabender, before the uh, end of the month, can get that overall up to a 79 or even back to an 80 where he was uh, at one point earlier this year. So we can maybe get a little something for him. It, it's very possible that we might not even trade him. We'll just have to use him as a viable uh, starting pitcher and uh, for the rest of the year and then let him go and uh you know see what happens in free agency let's go ahead and get started with today's ball game as always i appreciate everyone following along like and or subscribe to the channel um, we got dave boswell on the mound he's making his third start since he was traded over here the current White Sox lineup is batting only 233 against him, and that's 134 plate appearances, so a very large sample size. All of the bullpen is available. Uh, shoot, I forgot to move uh, Bucky uh, all the way down here to middle relief and move Ron Herbal T up to short relief, but we'll just keep that in mind uh, if we need to go to a right-handed arm. Bucky has not been pitching particularly well. Here's Fred Klages. He's a right-hander. We have our lineup in there. Now, look, for some reason, Darren Johnson, whatever the reason is, he is struggling at the moment. So we're going to give him a day off. We'll move Joe Pepitone from right field to first base, which is his normal position. He's already started 13 games there this year. Uh, and that means Don Bosch will get a back-to-back -back start, and he'll play right field for us today. Then Kelly will play short. Um, and that should do it for the uh, uh, differences in the lineup. Okay, let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Seattle Pilots. Batting leadoff, playing left field, is Jose Cruz. Batting second and catching is Manny Sanguia. Batting third at first base is Joe Pepitone. Batting cleanup in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting 5th in right field is Don Bosch. Batting 6th at shortstop is Jerry Devannon. Batting 7th at second base is Van Kelly. Batting 8th at third base is Aurelio Rodriguez. And batting ninth is the pitcher Dave Boswell. You may notice we have the lefty, righty, lefty, righty, lefty, righty going on here. Okay, Fred Klages, not doing so hot. Making his 23rd start, 7-14 with a 5-0-1 ERA. More walks and strikeouts. He's got 76K in 158 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 263 against him. 
He has five complete games, all in losing efforts this year. His fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 47.3%. He's got one good pitch, and it's a doozy, a slow curve. Top, uh, radiant, top rated at 94. Uh, fastball at 70. Overall rated at 79. The 26-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of next year. Look at his log. See for yourself. Look at all those L's. Yeah, that's a lot of L's. Um, he's coming off a loss to the Senators, where he gave up eight runs and six and two thirds. Looking down, we uh, he had back-to-back -back complete games against us, giving up six runs and five runs. And then we gave him his first loss of the year back on April 23rd, when we could still hit. Gave up six runs. In six innings, how many unearned runs has this guy given up this year? 12, 15 earned runs. Wow. I mean, that seems like a lot. I don't know. Okay, we'll take a look at the uh, defense here. Do we have the same lineup? Yeah, this is the same lineup as yesterday's ball game. So, McKinney at short, well below league average. Right field is Crowley. He also sucks. Behind the plate is Josephson. He threw out two of our batters, our base runners yesterday. And we got Jose Cruz leading off. Oh, we got the red, yellow, and blue uniforms on today. I think those are my favorite ones. As Cruz hits a ground ball to second to lead it off. Morales boots it. Oh, here come the unearned runs for Clagius. And we got Manny Sangui in our best hit and run guy. Uh, our second best hit and run guy with a 94 rating. So we will hit and run here. Now this backfired in the first inning yesterday. Cruz walked to start off the ball game. And then we had uh, Sutherland, I believe it was, in the number two spot. And he did not make contact on the hit and run. And Cruz was gunned down. 1-1 one, one count to Sanguian. There's a ground ball to short. At the very least, we get Cruz to second. So a runner in scoring position for Joe Pepitone. This guy's been secretly a good MVP candidate. He's played four positions, all the outfield positions, and first base, and he's hitting well. We could use a clutch hit here. We'll take a walk instead. And that makes sense for Clagius. I'd rather walk Pepitone and get to Tommy Agee, who's a strikeout waiting to happen. 2-1 count here. And he goes to right field. That'll get a run in. Pepitone going to third. AG, good clutch hitting from the number four spot today. And it's one, nothing Seattle. And of course, that is an unearned run. Now, Bosch is not good at anything. We will go on contact, assuming he can make contact. Tough to double up with AG on first. And a box scores a run. Another, oh no, that is an earned run. A balk a game. This game, <laughs> between pitchers hitting doubles and then balking every game, uh, I don't really know what else to say. Uh, we guess we just let uh, Don Bosch swing away. He got his first hit of the year. Yesterday, he goes to left field with a single. AG, 30% chance. Wah, wah, we're going to say no. Jerry Devannon, what's his hit and run? 84. That's solid. I, um, if you didn't already know, I have cheat sheets that I've created uh, for some of the more important uh, situational hitting. And so I have them here in front of me. That's what I'm looking at uh, on my wall. <laughs> I have a wall full of uh, cheat sheets. So we will hit and run here. A ground ball should score AG pretty easily. There we go. Ground ball to short. AG scores. Bosch goes to second. 3 nothing Seattle. This has all been really just poor defense and, and terrible pitching. Runner on second. Two down. Here's Van Kelly. Feels like he hasn't had a clutch hit in a while. Ground ball to third, and that will end it. So we put three on the board 
here in the first. That feels good. We go to the bottom of the inning. We'll take a look at the White Sox lineup rundown. Batting leadoff in center field is Angel Bravo. Batting second at first base is Bob Spence. Batting third in left field is Carlos May. Batting cleanup playing third base is Bill Melton. Batting fifth in right field is Terry Crawley. Batting sixth at shortstop is Rich McKenney. Batting seventh and catching today is Dwayne Josephson. Batting eighth is the second baseman, Rich Morales. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Fred Plagius. Okay, Dave Boswell, we have yet to get a good outing from him. He's making his third start. You see the totals here together. I can show you that in the game log, actually. But for us, he's 0-1 with a 5-2-3 ERA. 12 strikeouts in 10 in the third inning. That's pretty good. We'll take that. Uh, unfortunately, opponents are batting 3-10 against him. Fastball topping out at 89 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 55%. The slow curve, that is his best pitch. Rated in 92 and a fastball rated in 84. Even the changeup is not that bad. Below league average, though, at 77. Overall rated in 87, the 25-year-old righty. We signed him to a contract extension through 1974. So we are expecting big things, and he has yet to deliver. Now, in that last start versus Washington, we yanked him. He only gave up one run in four and a third, but he had walked four to go with those four hits. And I believe we did win that ball game. Of course, he got a no decision. Um, so... He's due for a good outing. I mean, maybe today's that day. He's the one pitcher in our rotation that's impervious to the, the four-inning rule, even though we uh, incorporated that in his last start. All right, let's take a look at our defense. It's good. We got Rodriguez at third. His range will help Devannon. Uh, I mean, Pepitone's actually the best first baseman we have on the team right now defensively. And Van Kelly's pretty good, too. The outfield is awesome. Behind the plate is Sanguian, who's held his own. So we're, we're, we're looking good defensively. All right, three out of the first five batters are left-handers against Dave Boswell, starting with Angel Bravo. And Bravo popping it up. I always say his name like that, Angel Bravo. Oh, come on. Kelly dropped the ball. So this is the exact replay of the first inning. I was going to say, because I call him Angel Bravo, Charlie Delta. Echo. I just want to go all of them. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Bob Spence strikes out. Down three runs. You would think Bravo would attempt to steal. I think he's second or third. In, yeah, he's got 20 stolen bases. Wait, how many times has he been thrown out? Oh, it's 20 for 30. I mean, you want to... You want a successful base runner to have about 75%. So, yeah, it's pretty solid. There's a ground ball to short. Tough to double up. Only play was to go to first. Two down for the righty, Bill Melton. Now, I believe Dave Boswell has given up runs in the first inning in his first two starts. Let's see if today's any different. Melton, nope. Oh, it's going to be a fly ball. I thought it was a gapper. And it's out number three. Okay, we get through the first inning with the lead. That always feels good. Go to the top of the second. And Aurelio Rodriguez will lead it off. Four for ten in his career versus Plagius. That slow curve. He tried to wait on it. Ground ball to first. There's out number one. Here's Dave Boswell batting 111 on the year. He strikes out looking. First K for Clagis. And Jose Cruz, a number back to the pitcher. So that's a good bounce back inning for Clagis. We go to the bottom of the second. Terry Crowley leading off. Crowley now the everyday right fielder with Walt Williams in the minor leagues. Base hit, pass the shortstop. Devannon, lead base runner on again. That's going to bring up Rich McKenney. He's got two home runs. Both are against us. In fact, I think we said four out of the seven extra base hits have been against us. 
He lines out to the left. That's out number one. And then Dwayne Josephson gets hit. I don't know why Dave Boswell's got to make it so hard every single start. It's first and second. Here's Rich Morales looking to make up for that error. He does. Probably. Oh, he's going to hold. At third. I mean, I mean, I guess that might be the right thing to do. Uh, uh, Cruz does not have a good arm, though. We know that. Probably does not have good speed. But with the pitcher up next, you may as well take a chance, right? We're going to pull the infield in. I'm assuming Clay just will be bunting. Who knows? Full count. No. Oh, ground ball to third. I thought he was going to walk him out. Come on. Come on, man. There, there's, so there's no way we're going to win. That, like, that doesn't happen unless the game is completely ready to mogul you into uh, subservience. So, yeah, we're this game is done. Now we just got to play it out. There's the tie. What a bunch of shit. We'll go to the top of the third. It's all tied up. Those were all unearned, unearned runs. Sanguian strikes out. Pepitone pops it up. Yep, this is the get right game for Klages. What a bunch of shit. Yeah, there's nothing we're going to be able to do. We may not get another hit. We, I'm sure we'll get another error. We'll end up with more errors than hits. Those are all unearned runs. This is our best defense, too. And we've made two crucial errors. Dropping a pop-up. And then the pitcher hitting a easy ground ball to third. Should have been a double play to end it. Just striking this out like it's nothing. The worst pitcher in Major League Baseball. Completely shutting us down. And there's nothing we can do about it. Four three. Bob Spence hitting his seventh home run. An error. It's so freaking stupid. Oh my god, this game is dumb. Eleven doubles for Pepitone. I mean, look at the box score. God, unbelievable how stupid this game is. Bosh oh, hitting it to third. Great job. Another freaking error. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. <laughs> like, it's just, I don't know how this game was created. Some damn moron. We've never seen a baseball game in his life. Three unearned runs. 
for Klages, three for Boswell. We get the lead back. I mean, we may as well let Boswell pitch. That's what he's here for. And I understand, like, why they might have three errors today. They have a terrible defense. Our defense is elite. Oops, my bad. Trying to trick the game by blocking it out. We got to take Boswell out. 95 pitches. Stands to get the win, but absolutely does not deserve it. It's Rich Roll. I had too much coffee today. So dumb. All right. Um. Bring in Ramon. The question is, will they pinch hit for Klages? I mean, he threw back-to-back -back complete games against us, so they're probably going to keep him in there, even only down a run. So the only tough out he's got is the number eight hitter. Never faced him before. All right, fly ball to center, assuming AG doesn't drop it. Yeah, so Klages is going to bat. Oh, come on, man! Unbelievable! It's like they're trying to create ways to get runners on base because there's no hit total today. All the errors, the walks, which have been minimal. Two hit batters now. I mean, it's egregious how terrible this is. There's the hit. So we'll get this over with. Foul ball. Dropped in foul territory, and everybody advances. That's how freaking dumb this game is. It's a whole new level of dumb. Also, two errors by a 98-rated third baseman. The only third baseman better than him is Brooks Robinson, and he's made two errors today. One in foul ground. He does get... A le one lefty out at least. We got to bring in a righty. We got nobody but Herbal the gerbil. There's nothing we can do but push a button. The game's already decided. You get out of that jam. Good job, gerbil. Put some extra sawdust in the cage. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Man, he's saying you didn't leave enough. All right, uh, we're going to let Pepitone swing away. He does have two career home runs. You could hit and run here, but it doesn't really matter. Back-to-back -back walks. Clay just is tired. Tommy Agee. I mean, well, look at the in-game stats. These are our middle three guys are the only ones that have hits. We have three hits. So stupid. Like embarrassed for the game designer. We've got the bases loaded. Bosch does not particularly do well in any type of situation. Full count. Oh my god, did he just walk four in a row? I mean, look at this, guys. I need alcohol. Ground ball to second. They go home to get the fours. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Like, you're down two runs. Just go for the double play, man. <sighs> okay, Van Kelly, what does he do? Can he get a sack fly? No, he cannot. He does hit and run well, though. Which we cannot do here. I don't know. Let's just ask him the sack fly. What's the worst that could happen? It's lefty on lefty. 
as uh, Daniel Lazar comes in. I believe he's their closer. That's pretty good. Oh, I mean, well, his ratings are good. That doesn't mean anything, clearly. Well, let's see what happens. Ah, gets sawed off. And really, it's not going to do anything. Oh my god. Can't believe this even exists. All right. Ron Herbal T. He's got one lefty and then a bunch of righties. We don't feel good about uh, Bucky, do we? So let's see what happens here. If he gives up a home run to Crowley, I'm not worried. I mean, I'm worried because you actually get it. On an 0-2 count, that makes a lot of sense, game. Good job, game. Now everything's getting passed. There's a double. There it is. Game is tied just like that. Let's see if we can give him a lead. So Boswell will not get the win today. We all know that bringing a pitcher out for a second inning of work is like the worst possible thing you can do. Riddleberger. Oh god, I hate this fucking game. Okay, we're gonna take out uh, Riddleberger. Oh, they're bringing in a right-hander. That's good thinking. Um, Danny Murphy, righty. Um, oh <laughs> well, Sutherland. It's, it's Darren Johnson's day off, so we, we're not going to give it to him. Any of these schlubs are equally terrible. I just happen to like Gary Sutherland, so we'll give him a shot here. Yeah, they're going to walk this game off. There's really no other way around it. This game will be over here in just a couple of it. outs. Remember, after the first inning, we had two hits. I said we won't get another hit today. And we've only had one. That is how stupid this game is. Okay, this is where the game ends. Ron Locke will get the loss. There we go. Bill Melton, two-run home run, end it. Okay, ground ball to first. A double play. And then the third hit batter, so he walked, a, he's a left-hander. He walked the first lefty, hits the next lefty, and now it's all righties. So we have to let him lose it right here. Yeah, maybe error? Fourth error? Oh. That would have been an error for everybody in the infield. Free baseball. I would actually rather have just lost. Get down. Bottom of the tenth. Oh, no. Huh? That's Rich Morales. I imagine they're going to pinch hit for Murphy. Pete will be bringing a lefty to face him. Oh, man. How many ground balls have gotten past him? Not enough. It's going to happen here in a minute. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's going to be caught. Oh, no, that was gone. Oh, man. Now they're bringing in Don Eddie. Oh, and we've already used Sutherland. I'm a dope. All right, well, whatever. Oh, Van Kelly with a double. 
That was unlikely. Fifth double of the year. Rodriguez, can you hit it to the right side, please? No, he hits it to the left side. This game, I swear to God, the worst. Now we got to bring in Belanger. It's like bringing in a blind man. Oh, base hit in the center field. Oh, no, of course he wouldn't score. Why would he score? It's only, like, important. All right. Oh, God, this game. Now, Jose Cruz is just above average with the hit and run. Strike him out, throw him out. Oh, no, that'll give us the lead for now. Oh, man. Well. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring in Belanger at short. That's a defensive upgrade. Wait, who scored that run? Was it... Did Belanger drive in the run? All right, so that's Fred Gladding. More walks and strikeouts. Look at his log. His log will tell you all you need to know. He's been bad lately. Yep. Yep, that's game over, man. Game over. Suddenly, our infield cannot get anything. But they got to give up two runs, so... Uh, Josephson, will he walk it off here? It's not going to be Morales. Now, I, I, in my mind, I'm thinking, do we walk Morales to get to the pitcher's spot? But I don't know who they have on their bench left, right? There's no way to see their bench. So I have no idea who they have left. We could, I mean... We're either going to win the game here or they're going to get two runs. That's the only, those are the only two options. So we may as well pitch to Morales. We'll play regular depth. First pitch swinging. And the ball game. There we go. That was the only two options there were. We lose 8-7. to seven. The worst game of the year by far. I mean, this game... I swear to God, if I hadn't already started this series, I would just stop playing this. It's so terrible. Um, yeah. I mean, we haven't had a, we've had one home run in what, three weeks? The game has just stopped le letting us get home runs. Um, I mean, the East is, I mean, all these guys are done. It's a two-team race now. Minnesota's at least five games back. We lost three in a row, so they're, they're basically giving up. And the East is over. The West will be over before too long. All right. Headline news. Gene Tennis had a double-dong day. Good for him. He, Gene Tennis had more home runs today than we've had in three weeks as a team. Transactions. Oh, there is a trade. Oakland. Oh, my gosh. Wait, what's going on here? So Dick McAuliffe goes from St. Louis to Oakland. Who was their second baseman? It was John Donaldson. But he got sent to the minors. Who took over? No, they just traded. No, that was the Giants. Okay, well, we're talking about it. Why don't we look and see here? In return, they give up Dave Hamilton. I mean, that's fair. Uh, 
Yeah, we already knew about John Denny, Charlie Manuel. Oh, Avita Blue's out for a year. They need to trade for a, a pitcher is what they need now. He's out all through, almost all through next season. Oh, my God, this game sucks on a level that I, I can't even comprehend. Um, let's look at their team now. So Dick McAuliffe is their second baseman. Oh, Dick Green. Ernie Fazio had 11 home runs. That's right. He became their leadoff hitter there for a minute. Fazio fazed us up pretty good, didn't he? Well, he only had two hits, scored a shit ton of runs against us. All right. I mean, that makes sense. They've betrayed away their whole team. I mean, Reggie Jackson's back in there over Hank Aaron now. Hank Aaron just can't get a job. This is the weirdest team ever. They got three catchers. So, oh, no, they have, uh, yeah, they do have three catchers. So they sent a 300-hitting second baseman to double-A. The next second baseman they sent to the minors with, after 11 home runs. Unbelievable. And then they lose Vita Blue and someone named Greg Haderman is the next man up. They don't really have much to choose from, do they? Um, and Jim Nash. Okay, so Jim Nash is going to miss one more day. He'll come in and take that spot back. So Chuck Dobson's been is going to be the fill-in guy, or continue to be the fill-in guy, because he's the guy that's filling in for Jim Nash. Jim Nash will come back. Dobson will slide down. I mean, they're still great. Six and one. So. Oh, man. God, I'm so mad right now. Let's pull up the stupid games box score. What a bunch of crap. What a bunch of bull crap. We managed five hits, six total errors. We scored more runs than we had hits. We had 300 runs. They had 300 runs. Everybody on the infield had an error except for Pepitone, who let up, uh, what, five or six ground balls get by him. Same could be said for Aurelio Rodriguez. Um, oh, that was Van, no, that was Jerry Devanin who dropped the pop up in foul ground. That was somehow a fair territory. I mean, you just have to, like, go with it on that kind of bullshit. Like, I, that part doesn't even bother me that it was a foul pop-up that was dropped and somehow everyone was safe. That doesn't bother me as much as just the concept that this game has to balk every game. Uh, you know, like, I mean, that's just the stuff that makes no sense. Uh, we were never going to win this ball game. That's the crazy part about it. It was just never going to happen. Every time we score, they score two. We score, they score two. So, I don't know. Dave Boswell pitched terrible. Third straight start. Bullpen did not do their gerb. Fred Gladding is not going to help us, but it's all we got. I mean, our bullpen, you know, is this kind of terrible bullpen that is going to have games like this, but it's the overall performance that is really frustrating to me. Joe Pepitone walked three times and had the double. That's it. I'm going to go take a chill pill. I'm going to drink a lot of alcohol and calm down. So until tomorrow, everyone have a great day.